from the subreddit shower thoughts. Someone still remembers you for a random act of kindness that you made years ago. I still remember a lady from when I was on holiday in Florida years ago. I was coming out of the hotel as she was coming in and I held the door open and let her walk in first. She sounded genuinely surprised when she said thank you and it just stuck with me. I am still trying to remember any random act of kindness I have done in my life. I still remember the lady that let me in in traffic five years ago, she had such a genuine smile, like she was actually happy to help. Just beaming. Thanks kind random lady, you were a breath of fresh air in a sea of selfish assholes. I still remember taking my car to the shop and the shop owner decided not to charge me at all for the service, checking for leak. He said he was feeling kind that day. He earned himself a return customer. I'm sure the nice couple that I woke up in the middle of the night by walking in their house to use the bathroom while wasted, still remembers me for that random act also. Thanks, needed to hear that. This world needs more selfless kindness. I bought some groceries for my friend after he had a nasty divorce and was just wallowing in self-pity. He still mentions me getting him food years later and how surprised he was that someone gave a shit about him. He is doing way better now and has a new baby with a new wife and is doing far better. Even the smallest of gestures like a simple hello and smile is what people need to remind them they matter are like seeds of goodness sown into the world. That's what I love about this sub. Makes you think about something off the wall, but is more than likely correct. Christmas of 1995. We went to buy the cheapest Christmas tree we could find in our rusted, bent, utterly reliable Toyota wagon. Money was tight and I felt it constantly. My oldest son was three and was helping me tie the knots as I lashed it to the top of the car. An older man, likely in his fifties, came over and said, you are a wealthy man. I still tear up when I think about it. I just sincerely hope that number far exceeds the number of people who remember my mistakes and embarrassments. I worked for a radio station, promotion stepped, when I was 19. I got back to the studio after a clusterfuck of a remote and started chatting with the on-air personality, a guy who had been in the business for 30 years. I started telling him how much I fucked up at the remote. No, 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 he said. You didn't fuck up. You had a learning opportunity. I have always been particularly hard on myself whenever I mess something up. After 25 years, I have always remembered these words, and it has saved my sanity countless times. Was on holiday and a local complimented my watch so I gave it to him spur of the moment for this very reason thumbs up sign. To the pretty girl who yelled at the middle school bus bullies that I was trying to ignore, thanks. I still remember the lady that silently stood up and walked over to me to hand me a tissue and a look that said, I'm sorry, when I was bawling my eyes out at a bus stop after trying to get away from one of my abusive exes. He followed me to the bus stop and harassed my in front of everyone until he realized I wasn't going back with him and left. Everyone else just sat there and looked away awkwardly apart from her. Thank you mystery lady for making me feel like I was worth compassion after being treated like I was worthless for so long black heart hash. I interviewed a candidate a decade ago. At the time, he wasn't proficient to meet my group's needs. However, he did something very few candidates have done. He emailed on what it would take. He wrote back recently. Basically, he followed the advice, changed course in the major, and became a sister engineer at a top Silicon Valley company. It meant a lot when he reached back. He was grateful and succeeded. It's true, I remember a guy who paid so I could get out of the hospital parking lot when I had no cash and that machine didn't take cards. He told me seriously that I had to pay it forward. So the next week when I found a $10 bill on the ground at a stadium, I remembered my promise, so I promptly gave it to one of the beer sellers and said, I don't want anything, just consider this a tip, dot. I remember back in college I had to take a dump before an exam. When I got out of the restroom a stranger tapped me on the shoulder and pointed to my butt. Unbeknownst to me a long strip of toilet seat protector was tucked in my pants. I can't imagine the embarrassment if I walked into class that way. To this day after using a public restroom stall, 
I check for any wayward toilet seat protector and think about the good deed of that kind stranger smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. One we received, about 40 years ago. Was in New York City for the first time. Was getting ready to ride subway but overwhelmed a bit. A stranger stopped and offered advice. I've never forgotten his kindness. First grade teacher Penny Morrill, I think of you every day. What a graceful beautiful human you were for me in the midst of a chaotic childhood. Thank you. I got a message a few years back from someone I went to high school with. He was a freshman when I was a junior, but we were both a part of our band, so we saw each other a reasonable amount. Apparently over the two years I knew him, he took a lot of things I said to heart and it changed his outlook going forward. I couldn't really say what I did, but he said he could recall at least three good times that he looks back on fondly. Got me to tear up a bit since I thought I did nothing through school, but sometimes a few words can change everything in hindsight. A stranger bought me coffee when I was at the VA one day. I doubt I'll ever forget her. I have some Norwegianous blue eyes, and while walking to school in like seventh grade, at the height of my awkward ugly phase, some girls near the school told me they loved my eyes. Fifteen years later it's still the only compliment I've gotten that isn't from my partner and I cherish it. Some guy gave me a free churro at Costco at age six because he didn't want it. Good churro. Probably the girl that was crying on a bridge at night thinking about suicide. I noticed her crying and we talked for a long time. I gave her a hug. She was in a wheelchair so we went back to her place and I helped her clean it up since it was in rough shape. We smoked a joint and she told me she no longer felt suicidal and felt at peace in that moment so I left. Never seen her afterwards but I hope she's doing okay and I'm sure she remembers me too. I honestly hope so. I hope I'm remembered much more for random acts of kindness than for the times I accidentally make an ass of myself. Fantastic thread. This is just what I needed to see today. Bravo OP. For years ago, there was a woman getting on the bus in front of me. It was snowing pretty bad and I don't think she ever took the bus before. She didn't have any change and the bus system in my city only takes exact change or bus tickets. She looked like her whole world came crashing down when the bus driver refused to let her on. When she turned and I met her eye, I held out two bus tickets and told her she needs to get on the bus because the snow was getting bad. I think about her watery eyes and grateful smile a lot. I hope she's doing okay. My dad was this type of person. He recently passed and want to keep his memory alive by continuing what he called a spark of joy. Remember hearing someone mow their lawn and it sounded close, looked outside my balcony and my dad had driven an hour with his lawnmower in a car to mow my lawn. I was pregnant and my mower kept breaking. I didn't even know he was in town. Red heart hash what a guy. Ex I saw yesterday told me about a kid she did babysitting for over 12 years ago. I joined her once to babysit the kid and his sister shortly after their mother passed. Apparently the kid had a complete meltdown and I got him to calm down somehow. I remember babysitting, but not much else. Turns out the kid does, is 24 now and told her about it. Crazy how something I remember nothing of can be such a big moment in another person's life. I hope so. I try really hard to put good things into the world and I hope someday to see the impact I had. Can confirm, I remember a kind person from grade school and I'm 45 now. I remember one morning waking up in a great mood and as I was going to the bus, I saw a guy under our building waiting our neighbor to go to work with him. I told him, good morning, and he said it back. I started seeing him daily and each time, I was the first to greet. One day I wasn't feeling well and was very upset and I thought that he probably doesn't care so I won't greet him today. Then I heard him saying, good morning, and I felt happy for the rest of the day. I worked at the Depth of Labor years ago. I was at the grocery store fairly recently and some guy came up to me and was like, I want to thank you for making that time easier for me. I was in a bad place and you all helped me feel better. You and your friends there were great. It was something I needed in the moment. I'll remember his random act of kindness for my random act of kindness for a long time. 
A few years ago I was in line at a McDonald's and this young man in front of me was 45 cents short, and he was about to leave without his food and I told the cashier I got it and he was so happy he gave me a big hug and thanked me endlessly. I still think of this young guy and the joy he gave me with his endless hugs and thanks. Best 45 cents ever spent.